Hey guys, welcome back to a super quick tutorial. I just want to show you how to randomly rotate objects. Let's just say that you're in your default scene here. You have your cube and you just want to duplicate your cube maybe a few times, right? And you have all these cubes and you're like, you know what? I, I want to rotate them all. All right, I'll just pop open this tab here. I'll just start rotating these. I think this one I want to rotate like that. This one like that. This takes way too long. How do you randomly rotate and transform all of these all at once? Well, let's go ahead and select all of the cubes. And we're gonna go up here to the top menu. Okay, guys, it's gonna say object. We're gonna go to object, transform, and then we're gonna find this option that says randomize transform. So go ahead and click on that. And you're gonna see this little box down here on the bottom. Go ahead and pop that open. Now we have all of these options. And watch what happens if we start adjusting these options. Wow, look at that. So we can actually choose the different axes that we want these things to rotate by or transform by. In this case, we're just transforming the location. And then let's say you wanna also rotate these. Whoa, so now you can randomly rotate all of these, right? And again, they're all randomly rotating by their individual origins. And you can even adjust the scale as well. So this is just a really quick trick that I don't think a lot of people know. And what's really awesome about this, guys, is that we can actually keyframe this too. So let's say we love where all these are right now. Go ahead and press I. Insert location, rotation, and scale. So all three of those. Okay, jump ahead to like frame 60. Go ahead and click on object, transform, randomize transform. And again, we're going to go ahead and adjust all these values. I'm going to adjust all of these. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and click I and insert a keyframe again. And now watch this. We have all of this randomized transform. Just like that, we can, we can randomize the transform, location, rotation, everything. The scale all at once over a period of time. Again, we're highlighting all of these. So if you just wanted to do it with one object, you could. But I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. Let's go ahead and jump to frame 120. Do it one more time. Object, transform randomize transform and again guys i'm just going to go ahead and click on this just kind of make these things go crazy that's fine randomize all of these different aspects and then we're going to insert that keyframe again now look at that we have this crazy animation with almost minimal effort and what's great about this is you can customize all three values the rotation the scale and the location so guys i just wanted to show you that little trick again you can insert these keyframes and you can easily just, I mean, that actually looks really cool. So there's a lot you can do with this. If you guys are looking to do some debris or some particle effects or something cool like that, you can kind of fake it with these random transforms. So guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys how to do that really cool little trick. Again, one last time, let me show you. Object, transform, randomize transform. Again, this works on multiple objects or just one. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. I'll be dropping more just like this where I show you guys just simple little tricks that'll elevate your Blender experience to the next level. All right, guys, have a great day. Subscribe, like, and comment what you would like to see next. Take it easy, and I will see you in the next tutorial.